Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. No negativity. Let's be positive. LBP. Let's be positive. All right, man. Let's be positive then. Doggies tick. Uh, Highlanders, no. Uh, war- war- no. Cru- uh, Crusaders, not really. Let's start with your doggies, mate, because again, that's back to back. That's a brilliant win. That's a great performance. That's a team that is on the rise. The Blue Arrow looking up. No, oh, we will. You look fantastic. We've got great attack at the moment, and our defence seems to be holding up. So I tell you what, I was absolutely delighted to see the Bulldogs uh, get that victory over the Knights. The Knights are gone. Pong is now out with a long term injury, and they're hopeless without him. And uh, the doggies, as long as we can stay fit. Uh, I'd say, what we'll worry a few teams. I mean, we're, we're literally in the eight at the moment. Well, we're, we're, we're a couple of points out of the eight. We're 12th with a green arrow on the way up. That's what I would say. Yeah, and you've got to buy this weekend. So there's another two points. So tick that. So hopefully you get all your players back in a couple of weeks. And that's West Tigers. Well, I mean, it's a winnable game. Oh, it's got to be a winnable game. I mean, they've all got to be winnable games for us now. We have to think that way. Um, our attack out wide and with the Fox back on song should have got two tries two aerial tries on the weekend but his foot scraped the touchline for his second attempt but I'll tell you what the Bulldogs fans are loving it the Bulldogs look very pumped up and um, we've got attack on three or four fronts and uh, we look pretty good so we just got to hang on we just got to keep ticking away the Warriors on the other hand over the weekend they dropped down to 10th just outside the 8th just a point outside the eight, but they looked lacklustre. Yeah, um, yeah. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't one of those games. Look, like the week before they came back and um, you, you know saved the game, sort of thing, picked themselves up. And, but it didn't look even likely uh, over the weekend. And you know now I'm reading this morning, Sean Johnson training and resting an Achilles injury. I tell you what, that'd be absolute killer for the Warriors. So you've got to keep your fingers crossed. He's going to be okay. Yeah, Titans becomes a must win, doesn't it? And it's a must win, I think, because for the team to be taken seriously, they can't lose this game. You know, that's it. I mean, it's not season over disaster if they lose, but to be taken seriously, I think teams will look at them completely different if they drop this game. Oh, they have to win this game. I mean, you know, even um, over the last season or so, I've been hoping that the Bulldogs would be able to beat the Titans. You know, it's one of those teams. We've been hopeless. We've been nearly wooden spooners. And and I still look at the Titans as a a game that you should win. So, look, the Warriors, um, yeah, look, they they will beat the Titans this weekend. I don't think there's any doubt about that. It's just uh, how, how hard they come back. I'd like to see them be able to put the points on and really ram it home and then... Well, they're there or thereabouts, but the Dragons' performance was a bit of an eye-opener because they just didn't look like they had anything. Let's be positive, though. Your doggies, I mean, listen to you, mate. You've won three games, and all of a sudden you've won the title. Oh, mate, listen, we're, 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 we're climbing. You know what I mean? You know where we were last year. The, the big oh, thing and the year before. The and team. the year before. And the year, and the year before. before that. And for the last and 20 years. years before that. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So to see us playing this well... Um, and we've lost a couple of games this, this season already. We shouldn't have. The one against Melbourne, um, who are second on the table, we should have won that game. So, you know, look, the bottom line is, is it's nice to be able to watch your team who can score points. And uh, what you've got to remember is that game against the Knights on the weekend last year, they put like 108 points or something on us in two games. See, I'm, I'm just sitting here, mate. I'm just, no, what, what, I'm remembering, what I'm remembering is I'm remembering a guy... That walks into his lounge, sighs, turns the television on and says, I know what's going to happen here. It's just another abject performance. I'll watch it for 20 minutes out of duty, out of duty, and then I'll mope at halftime out of the house back to the shed and I'll, and I'll, and I'll listen on the radio for the next 40 minutes because I can't bear to watch it. Who am I talking yeah. about? I know. I know, I know. The bottom line is not this year. No, oh, I'm sorry. sitting there for every minute of the game. We're playing to the very last moment. Um, and, uh, look, it's just nice to watch a team that can do something. You know? No one wants to be the Knights, the Rabbits, or a Titans fan at the moment, do they? You could... Well, I'd throw the Eels in, but they've got three wins as well. You know, look, it's just good to be involved in the competition and feel like, righto... We could we could look likely coming towards the finals. I think we're going to make it. No, I think we'll be top eight. Let's be positive then. When South Island rugby is strong, New, 
New Zealand. Oh, okay, so mm. yeah, yeah. How can yeah. we be positive about the Highlanders and the Crusaders? Let's look at the the Highlanders are, are even more disappointing to me than the Crusaders because I don't really care about the Crusaders. They won it enough times. They 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 can have a suck season. But I really believed in the Highlanders this year. Our points differential is minus eighty seven. It's worse than the Crusaders, who have only got one win on the board. There's nothing positive to say about either squad. I mean, you can rejoice in the Crusaders being last, and I'd have to, I'd have to ask some of the, uh, the Canterbury crowd, Martin, when was the last time that you were sitting at the bottom of the table? It looks like the whole thing's been reversed. Yeah. I mean, Drua and uh, Ma, uh, Moana Pacifica sitting above the Waratahs, the Highlanders, the Force, and the Crusaders... Come on. There's nothing positive to say um, about South Island rugby at the moment. And uh, a couple of my mates I'd seen the other day, they were dressed up, uh, father and son, in all the, in all the Highlanders gear and, uh, you know, ready to celebrate together and celebrate they did not again. Yeah, they, I, mean, they, I don't know what. They, I, you know, I keep thinking, OK, did they have the players? Did they have the coach? Because there's one thing in New Zealand, isn't it? When a team is on the down slide... The one thing we don't do is, you know, examine the coach and examine his record and examine whether or not he should still be in the job. It's just a, it's all, it's almost like a sacred cow in New Zealand rugby, isn't it? You just, you just got to look the other way and 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 talk about the future and the fact that it will get better. If this was the English yeah. Premier League, if this was it, look, even when Rob Penny was at New South Wales, he got sacked after five what consecutive losses or something. But I'm not saying that he should be sacked. I'm just saying that it's never ever in the equation in New Zealand rugby, apart from if your name no, is Ian I- Foster. I read a story uh, uh, a couple of days ago with, with someone trying to tell me what Penny needed to hang on. Um, well, I mean, I didn't read the story. It was behind one of those paywalls. Right. But I thought someone's thinking about it at least. They're, they're giving it some consideration. He'll hang on. I don't think he'll go on the back of this. But I'll tell you what, if I don't pick up a couple of wins uh, between now and the end of the season, well, it could be one of the shortest tenures that... Uh, as a, as a Canterbury coach ever for anyone. Well, let's I be mean, positive. Let's say something positive about the two South Island right. teams, the Highlanders and the Crusaders. Well, they both enjoy residence in uh, the greater of the two islands, Martin. Okay. I mean, how about that? Yeah, Here's okay. a positive for you. Go, they right. get to enjoy the beautiful weather down here, which, by, by the way, this morning was uh, our first hard frost. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, well, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's the first of a hundred consecutive, out. isn't it? Okay, and then you get the hall well. frost right on top of that. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the, yeah. yeah, they're on the way, mate.